It finally came. This is the 18 horsepower Hankai outboard motor extraordinaire. Let's see if I open the right side here. This is a clone of a Yamaha 15F. Look at her. Oh boy. All right, this gas tank should be down there. Oh boy, it's gonna be messy. It's gonna be lots of vacuum in here tonight. Not for me. <laughs> All right. Oh baby. Oh baby. Look at that. First look, we got a gas tank, gas line, fuel line. It's got a white propeller. It looks, uh, I think it's a nine inch throttle. We have the safety here. Holy smokes. Six gallon gas tank, looking pretty good. Oh yeah, a little bit of air release valve right there. Oh man, this is sick. All right, let me get it unwrapped and we'll, uh, Continue after. Okay, we got it unboxed. We got it ready to go. Um, Install the tachometer on there. Uh, really helpful, lets you know how many hours you have on it. There's a 10 hour break-in period, so that's helpful. Listen to your RPMs, if you've got a good idle going. Um, kill switch here, safety cord, forward neutral reverse. Um, it is not full of oil when you first get it, so you have to fill it up. Uh, it's got some SAE 90 in it, but it's like I said, you got to definitely top it off. I think there's a nine inch propeller on there. Um, for the tachometer, I installed it. I wrapped it right around one of the uh, cords to the spark plug cables. All right. This thing, I mean, this thing feels pretty good quality for the price, you know. Um, I really, I, you know, I got a good feeling about it. Uh, comes with a six gallon gas tank. It's pretty nice. It's not bad. A fuel line, primer bulb, um, two spark plugs, a pull cord, an extra impeller, some gaskets, and um, the owner's manual. And a couple of tools to work on it with, a certificate of authenticity, if that's what that is. I mean, this shaft is pretty long. It's a 22-inch shaft. So definitely make sure you get the right size. Um, so yeah, this thing, I mean, this thing is going to be pretty... This is going to be pretty sweet. I saw a lot of videos. I saw a lot of reviews. I'm excited about it. Um, I'm going to rip these stickers off and put some Mercury stickers. No, I'm just kidding. This thing's nice. I'm super excited. So, you know, if you can't afford, you know, a $3,000, you know, 15 horsepower outboard, this is the way to go. So uh, I'm definitely looking forward to doing this. I'm getting some in the water. I got to break it in. I'm going to get in the backyard. I'm going to connect some muffs to it. Uh, get some gas in there. The break-in period gas mixture is 25 to 1. So make sure, you know, you get some ethanol free. Um, it's going to be 5 ounces per gallon. So you're going to be have about, you know, I would only put 3 or 4 gallons in the tank because the break-in period is not going to use all that gas. So um, I would say for 4 gallons, 20 ounces of two-stroke outboard oil. So, yeah. We'll see how she does. We'll get her hooked up in the back. We'll see what she sounds like. Let's do it, baby. All right, let's get it fired up. See how she does. Choke on.
So, not bad. It's only got 10 minutes on the motor, maybe totally. I only ran it for a couple minutes yesterday when I when I unboxed it. Um, definitely a little smoky, but you know, it's a 24 or 25 to one mix right now. So it'll definitely be smoky until I get that braking period done. Overall, I think it's a pretty good set of motor. All right, I got her idling pretty good. I'm trying to break her in a little bit. She's peeing good. Got a little, uh, got a little flow of water going here, so it doesn't empty out on me. I mean, she's purring pretty good. She's resting. It should rest around eight, nine hundred RPM. And look at that, eight fifty. Couldn't be any better than that. So it's a pretty, pretty decent idle. Um, sounds actually pretty quiet when she's in a barrel compared to water or out, out of the water with muffs on. Pretty smoky with that 25 to one mix. Um, so I definitely, I filled it up. Uh, I lubricated it a little bit inside on some of the on some of the gears and underneath the throttle cable, I put a little bit of lube. And there's also a little nipple right here. You wanna get some lube in there as well. Very important. Um, yeah, she's doing real well. As, you know, as far as idling goes. Um, I definitely think uh, she's gonna perform pretty well in the water. So, yeah, it's my little my little update for my Hankai here. Um, definitely break it in when you first get yours. Uh, you know, you could break it in the water as well. I heard some other uh, YouTubers say, you know, they they went quarter throttle, no more than half throttle uh, during the breaking period. I have another, I have another um, YouTuber DIY Chong that I watch. He just, he broke his right in full throttle. So, uh, yeah, you know, and his is, his is seeming to run pretty strong. So, DIY Chong, I watch a lot of your videos before I got this. You're actually the reason why I got this, so I appreciate it. But, yeah, go pick yourself up a Hank High, uh, 18 horsepower. She's, uh, I haven't took her out yet, but we'll get a video update once I do that. Thank you, guys.